Welcome to Great Episodes in Gibbs History, presented by Gibbs Farm, a program of Ramsey County Historical Society. My name is Sammy, and today we're looking at the unlikely love story of Abby Gibbs and Rudolph Fisher. Spoiler alert, if you saw the great episodes featuring Abby, this is the sweet Swiss man I mentioned. Abby, the second eldest child of Jane and Heman Gibbs, preferred the old-fashioned way of doing things. She did not make long-distance trips or get a job outside of the home like her sisters Ida and Lily, though she always exchanged family letters faithfully filled with news from the family homestead. Side note, Abby was considered a spinster at this point in her life because she was shockingly unmarried at the age of 50. Abby had a rough start to 1905. As you may have heard in our previous great episodes, she was mugged and assaulted at the beginning of the year. Whether she expected she would be married by the end of the year is unknown to us. Let's hear a bit about her soon-to-be beau. We know that Rudolf G. Fischer was born in 1869 in Switzerland. What we don't know is when he came to the United States. He appears in Minnesota census records only after he married Abby Gibbs. According to family recollections, Rudolf was a hired hand at the Gibbs farm. Presumably the two of them met this way and apparently that is when sparks began to fly. We do not have any written accounts of Abby and Rudolph's courtship, but the match was certainly unusual. For example, Rudolph worked for the Gibbs family. Then there was the age thing. What was most unlikely about their marriage was a nearly 15 year age gap. Abby being the eldest of the two. She was 50 and Rudolph, called Fisher by the family, was 35. How terribly shocking. Nevertheless, the two were married on September 6, 1905, and Rudolph was welcomed into the family. One of our favorite things about Rudolph was his apparent love of mowing the lawn. RCHS has a plethora of photos of Rudolph and his push mower. Here are some for your viewing pleasure. After Abby died in 1941, Rudolph lived a few years longer on the farm by himself before selling the land to the University of Minnesota and moving in with Frank's family. More about this in a later episode. When Rudolph died in 1948, he was buried beside Abby at Hillside Cemetery. Thank you so much for watching. Please take a second to like and subscribe so that you won't miss future installments of great episodes in Gibbs history.